Tonight, a nation in shock while a community unites in mourning. We need to all come together as a human race, you know. We, we need to help each other out. What led to Saturday's senseless act of violence, we may never know. But at that rally, another picture emerging. Heroes who jumped in to help the shot and the injured without hesitation. I was there with friends. I heard several gunshots. Um, the man beside me suffered a gunshot wound to the head. I helped carry the man out of the bleachers to a tent. Former firefighter Corey Comprator at the rally with his family, making the ultimate sacrifice, shielding his wife and daughters from the gunfire, killed while looking out for his loved ones. Corey died a hero. Corey was the very best of us. Others jumped into action too, like ER doctor Jim Sweetland. I know your, your medical professional instincts kicked in, right? It didn't until I was walking out. Well, that was muscle memory. It was automatic. And he told me the story of a veteran who saw him covered in blood from the victims he was caring for and offered to help him. I was covered with uh, blood. i got to give this guy tremendous credit. Was a Army combat veteran. He came up to me and said, brother, there's blood on your face. I said, oh. Okay, and he gave me his water bottle, and I washed it off. I take it, and then he stepped into me, put his hand on his shoulder, and said, Are you okay, brother? Yeah, it's likely a, a moment you're, you're never going to forget. Never. And that guy was an American who was helping me. And to me, that's America. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.